What's going on? How are you guys this week? Your local Asian American business owner is back? Of course guys, I'm joking. If I was Asian American, USDA would have approved my loan. Even a few years ago, I would have gotten a million dollars from the PPP loans to buy myself a few Lamborghinis, maybe a Rolex. <laughs> Oh man, if you guys told me I'd be doing this like five years ago, I would have bought a one-way ticket to Italy. That's what I would have done, but uh, what's the saying? You, you dig the hole too deep, you can't get out. Fresh beef is back. I don't know why I keep doing it. You guys, like a few people ask me for it and then I do it and you guys don't buy it. So we'll definitely show you guys that. The pet food is back, the raw beef pet food. I think it's $6 a pound, it might go down to five fifty. dollars we'll see. Uh, that's something that you guys almost always buy out. Last week we got the plain beef jerky back and we also have a, a lot of other restocks that I do want to show you guys. Uh, but I did want to ask if you were interested in me shipping the dairy products fresh, you know, without dry ice, with just ice packs instead, let me know. Uh, I might have to charge a little more, but the, the thing is that there's going to be no guarantee that the product will arrive in okay condition. Like, right now we have zero issues with the orders arriving cold enough, but if you guys want to order dairy with just ice packs, you know, if you complain that it's warm or it's not cold enough, that's, that's, not, that's going to be on you. That's probably going to be the, the disclaimer on it. Unless we charge, uh, unless we charge a few dollars more, then we'll, we won't put it, I don't know. But just let me know if that's something you guys are interested in. Also, I was thinking of, because uh, most of the dairy is in plastic right now. I know some of you guys want glass. I'm not sure if we can do that logistically. Because if we're shipping fresh with glass, it's okay. But if we do put like one or two dairy products on dry ice, which will happen it, when the liquid expands because it's so cold, the glass will shatter. So I don't know, I'm, I'm still thinking about that. It doesn't really cost much more. Well, maybe a little more per product to put it in glass, but it's a lot more work on the farmer's end. It's a lot more difficult to transport the dairy, but we'll see. If there's enough interest, we might start doing that or That'll happen when Frankie gets his own dairy farm. Who knows when? A uh, bit of a pain this week. Been in my car like four or five hours a day. All because I didn't put these snow tires on my car, dude. Un I was too, they're on rims too. I could literally have just, I could have probably swapped them out right here myself if I wanted to. So I had a uh, just an appointment in New York uh, Monday of last week which was the worst idea ever because that was like the worst day. That was like the first day of snow in New York, basically this whole year. I decided to drive from PA to New York. It took me like five hours to get to the city. I barely made it in time for my appointment. And then it was like three or four hours back. So I was in my car all day Monday. And then I was supposed to go to the Amish farm and do something with them on Wednesday. So I drive over there on Wednesday, two hours there, and it's too cold. They can't do anything. It's, it was like, it was zero, it was almost like zero degrees over there on Wednesday. So say, so hey, we'll come back tomorrow or uh, come back, uh, I don't remember, third, uh, Friday. We'll do it again on Friday. So I was in my car all day, Monday and Wednesday. And then I drive back down there Friday morning at like five in the morning. And it was okay on the way there. There was no snow in the forecast. That was the only reason I drove down there. And uh, as soon as I got there off the highway, about an hour and 45 minutes, Side roads weren't plowed. It was slick. My car was sliding all over the place, even though I got four-wheel drive. That's why I regret not putting the snow tires on. So after driving for an hour and 45 minutes, I had to turn back around, get on the highway, come back, uh, beat the delivery truck back, and put, uh, put the stuff on the delivery truck to be brought to the farm instead of me driving them down myself. And then yesterday, Saturday, I drove back down there, another two hours back and forth. So... It's, it's not too horrible, but I just in my car way too much. And then I got to go back tomorrow to the Amish farm. But then we're going to have to take a break from driving around because I'm about to I'm about to lose my mind in my car. My windshield cracked, too. I don't know if it was the, the cold weather. Nothing hit the windshield, but I got to get the windshield replaced, too. Swap the tires out. So let me stop rambling. Eh, let me stop rambling about me, me being in my car all week and... Uh, and show you guys what's going on in here. Almost everything is in stock on the foods, guys. We made the fresh Totomi's cookies bars. Uh, both dark chocolate and white chocolate Totomi's cookies are in stock. If you guys are craving a chocolate chip cookie, I haven't shown you guys this logo in a while. I think almost all my products have some doofy logo at this point. <laughs> uh, we got the meat granola, plenty of that, guys. These are the other Totomi's bars. 
Uh, we ran out of very best bars, and now we have more. Those are the vanilla. My guys just made some plain pemmican, two ounce bars. We don't have the we don't have the bags for the two ounce pemmican yet, so they're just packaged like this. Uh, those are the granola bars, which these these might be my favorite. So chocolate chip granola bars out of I mean, guys, everything we sell is completely delicious, but these are definitely one of my favorite. We got the the blueberry pemmican is back in stock with a, a revised recipe. There's a lot less honey in here, so it's soft now. So there, there's barely any honey in this, guys. Some of you guys are concerned about carbohydrates. Now this is honestly really mostly blueberries and a little bit of honey. Those are the chocolate best bars. And then over there, we have a lot of a lot of jerky. I'm about to trip and break my neck. Just a lot of plain salted jerky. A bit more affordable than the biltong, which we are running out of. We just have a small amount of the the plain naked biltong left, so we might have to place a new order soon. Some of the beef sticks still in. And I think all the fats are in stock. We got some lamb tallow, wagyu tallow, regular beef tallow. Some Iberico pork lard down there. We're gonna have a new fat hopefully in, a, in two or three weeks. All of the pickled vegetables should be ready this week too. So I think by, thir by definitely by the weekend. Uh, I'm a little on edge today. A little on edge today. Uh, the fermented vegetables will be back on frankiestrangefoods.com. At the latest by the weekend, we're gonna have the sauerkraut, dill, garlic dill pickles, and then the jardiniera. Sauerkraut should be the same. Garlic dill pickles should be about the same as before, but the jardiniera might be a little different. I'll have to taste and see how it is. I think it might just be a little plainer, less flavor, which is still fine. Let me hop in the fridge and uh, maybe my brain will cool off and I won't have to run my business anymore. A lot of, uh, a lot of roast beef and turkey breast. We've been going through a lot. Um, on, on the meat website, you guys can see the prepared meat section. You guys are pretty much buying so much of the oven roast turkey breast and the grass-fed roast beef, uh, which are two really special products because no one else is selling that quality online. Let me show you guys the fresh beef in here real quick. So when you order the fresh beef share, which is $65, you will get three pounds of fresh local ground beef, and it's a bit more than three because these are more like 1.1 pounds, and then you're gonna get one bone and ribeye steak and one T-bone steak. Now, if you do the math on that, you know, if you were paying $8 a pound for three pounds of fresh local ground beef, that's $24. 65 minus 24 is, my brain is so fried, 30, 31 or 41, 41. So then you're paying, you're paying about $20 a pound for fresh grass-fed steaks delivered to your door and $8 a pound for fresh local ground beef. So, those are the lowest prices online you will ever find meat in general, let alone freshly slaughtered beef. And the reason no one does fresh meat where they kill the cow and, and butcher it a day or two after is because the meat is very, very difficult to work with. It is very wet, it is very sticky. You can't take membranes off. The membranes stay on like, so there's, sometimes there's membranes like on the filet mignon tenderloin, there's membranes on the beef ribs. You can't take those off when the meat's fresh. It's not, like when the meat dries out and those things separate, it's okay, but um, that fresh beef package is five pounds for $65 on the meat website, and uh, it's gonna stay at that price. We're, we also might have, uh, we might have some leftover ground beef and leftover steaks that we might sell afterwards separately, but right now it has to be sold as a share uh, per USDA requirements. Over here in the fridge as well, we got plenty of water kefir, plain ginger lime, too many kefir grains, we're basically giving them away. Orange water kefir, grape water kefir, and pineapple water kefir. I don't know, the water kefir business is not that consistent. Sometimes you guys buy a lot of them and I sell out. Sometimes like now, we're kind of fully stocked on everything and we're not gonna be making any more water kefir for a little while. Uh, all the dairy products for the most part are in stock. Uh, we do have to get some more cheeses in this week. Uh, we're running low on some cheeses. All the eggs came in, we got plenty of eggs for you guys. All these eggs are ready to ship out tomorrow, Monday. Yeah, we're going to see the egg farmer again tomorrow morning, because they also did the dairy products for me and I'm gonna make the ice cream with them to, cause I'm gonna have a stroke if they mess up. Oh, I should have said this at the beginning. You got, I called the kid, I asked him, hey, did you do my ice cream recipe? He, he, Dude, it's up. He doesn't. He didn't put egg yolks in the ice cream recipe. And the reason he gave me well was, 
oh, I talked to my Amish neighbor that sells ice cream and he doesn't put egg yolks in the ice cream because of someone else concerns. Dude, my viewers eat raw chicken out of straight out of the package. Like they don't care about salmonella, dude. <laughs> like, <laughs> so him omitting the egg yolks from the previous batch of ice cream. I mean, imagine you, like it's not ice cream without egg yolks in it. It's lower fat, it's not as flavorful. It's like, it's crazy that he would omit that. And that's why we're giving it away this week. We, we were giving one vanilla ice cream away with every order. I, I didn't really want to do that because like them people get free ice cream, they taste it. And that ice cream should not be an indicator of what our ice cream is actually going to taste like. But what's the alternative? I send it back to the farmer and he has to pay me. That's, I mean, that's what I should have done. I should have sent all the ice cream back to the farmer and got my money back. But I said, you know what, let me pay him. Let me just give it away for free. I'd rather do that. The only downside of me doing that, giving the ice cream away for free, is that now people taste this ice cream. It's not that great, and they might not order it. So, but I don't know, hopefully enough of you guys see it that you know that. But uh, let's let's hop in the freezer. There's a lot of new stuff I'm excited about that I forgot to say at the beginning. <laughs> so we got duck in stock, including duck organs. Uh, these are duck livers, duck gizzard, and there's some duck hearts here. These are all very expensive. They're over like $30 a pound because I'm not sure if we're ever gonna have these again and I don't want someone to just buy all of them. So in a few weeks, maybe we'll reduce the price a little bit, but I just want to be careful of, of not underpricing them. We only have like five packages of these duck egg yolks. Literally only like four, not even five. We have like three, four or five packages. So if you guys have been my customers for a long time and you want one of these for free for your order, I will select five customers to get these one of these packages free with your order. If I list these on the website, even if I sell them for $30 each for half a pound of egg yolks, someone's going to buy them. So I don't want to do that. I don't want to price gouge five people. I'd rather give it to five long time. I don't know. We might do that. I don't really know. It's it's just weird when you only have five products. It's not. I can't even really list it on the website. So those are from the the laying hen, the ducks that because our duck farmer got a new flock in. So we we bought all his ducks. So now we have a lot of ducks available. Uh, they're whole, about three pounds each, and the price is around thirty dollars. So this is about half as much half the price of any duck you'll get online. So, I mean, you might see, you know, five pound ducks online for 55 bucks each, but they're definitely not corn and soy free. So these are corn and soy free pasture raised. There's not a crazy amount of meat on them because, you know, some of these ducks are less than three pounds each, but you know, you're not gonna find this quality of duck anywhere. And for, for 32, $33 guys, I mean, I should be a saint. I am a saint for selling meat this cheap. That's this high quality. Uh, this is just the beef pet food. It's it's in one pound packages now, which is a bit more convenient. Over here, we restocked uh, some of our best burger blend today. Uh, we stocked I ground Iberico pork as well. Strawberry ice cream's fine. We're selling the strawberry as is. It's it's delicious. Uh, that's the vanilla we're giving away. This is all ground venison. We have plenty of ground venison back in stock. Very dark, very lean. These are all the orders I did this week. Organ grind back in stock as well. Under here we have some, some beef tongues, small beef tongues available. Very small amount of prime ribeye steaks left. Very small amount of prime ribeye. And we also got some prime New York strip steaks which look pretty good too. Uh, that might be the worst looking one, but most of these are, are very marbled. I might be forgetting something, but uh, guys, make sure to sign up for the newsletter on frankiestrangemeat.com because every week, uh, I think this week I sent it uh, uh, today, which is Sunday, uh, uh, like little summary about what new products are in this week. Like, oh, we have the fresh beef, the pet food is back. Uh, Frank's still complaining about not having a Korean wife. Uh, and then like all the restocks are on that email too. Uh, I even put in a little blurb like, hey, the best bars are back on the foods website. The potato chips are still available. Um, I think we're gonna have a fresh batch of potato chips next month as well. So we'll keep doing them. I, I don't care if I break even, honestly. Like the only thing I, I get discouraged about is like, if I, if I did have a lot more money, I'd be able to provide even, Unbelievably, I'd be able to provide even higher quality special products, make people healthier, and if, I mean, eventually I'll be at a point where I'm somewhat comfortable, but 
we're, we're just I'm just not really there yet so I'm, I'm really trying to make sure that um, I'm not burning myself on too many products which is why I didn't make any money the first like few years I was in business I was burning myself on so many I, I still am I just why, why do you guys think I have what, six seven different businesses I, and guys when, when I launch these when I launch some new product ideas I have this summer you guys are gonna think I'm nuts like I, I can't think of anyone who has so many different like business just and it's, it's gonna be completely random too like this that one's really gonna throw you guys for a loop but uh, yeah, make sure to sign up for the newsletter on the Me website. You'll get every week just a list of updates. Hey, this is what we have that's new. This is what's back in stock. I also try to mention everything in these vlogs, but I don't always remember everything because I keep forgetting. To, <laughs> I, I forgot to send myself my, my vlog to-do list again. Uh, but it's all right. Uh, what I'm excited about is, so we got all that fresh beef in this week. We're going to have new, um, the hot dogs and the beef collagen sausage are going to be back at an affordable price. So before, we were selling them for like $12 a pound, which to me, that, that meat, that quality, no one else is doing that, it's worth $12 a pound. But we're, we're gonna get a little lower and we're gonna have a new hot dog recipe. It's with fresh onion and fresh garlic, which I've never seen anyone do. And uh, beef collagen sausage should be the same recipe. It's just instead of, instead of cutting the ends of the links, the sausages are gonna be twisted like they should. It should be a, look a little nicer. For both the collagen sausage and the hot dogs but i'm i'm curious hey look the hot the hot dogs should be better than they were previously but dude if, if any of you guys tried those hot dogs we had those were the best hot dogs i've ever had in my life the texture the color of the meat the freshness they're it's amazing amazing delicious hot dog products and in addition to that we should be getting the pork share back in about two weeks and that's going to be really special because we're doing everything like nose to tail on that pork. Like I, I was, I was at that. I was, I was showing that guy how to cut pork for about five hours yesterday. Look, look. Like, if I'm the guy showing him how to cut pork, we're lost. We're completely. Lost. I, I know a little bit, but pork pig, pigs are easy to break down. So we're doing, we're doing head cheese with the head. I, I'm sure some of you guys have heard of head cheese, where you know you simmer the pork head at a low temperature for a long time. You break it apart. Uh, we should be doing the liverwurst again. Uh, the bacon is going to be amazing, phenomenal. I'm really excited to see how that bacon turns out. Um, we're going to do some pulled pork. I'm not. I think I'm just going to pull the pork and vacuum seal it. I, I wanted to put something on it to make it moist. Like so a lot of times, they'll use apple cider vinegar, organic apple juice, but I'll let you guys do that because everything on this pork share is going to be plain, just salt, nothing else added to it. Uh, for those of you guys with dietary restrictions, uh, yeah, bacon, liverwurst, head cheese, pulled pork ham it's it's gonna be it's really special Th those pigs are uh, corn and soy free raw milk fed pigs and there's they were also fed uh, a lot of organic tapioca that I bought a few pallets of a few years ago that is way too expensive to feed to any animals but it means that it, it's, it's a really good medium for the pigs to detox so the fat is gonna the fat on those pigs is really high quality and low in toxins so that, all that stuff should be ready in two or three weeks. The new pork share that's back is going to be special, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I basically gave it away last time for like 10. Guys, if I'm selling pork that high quality for 10 or $12 a pound, it, it shipped to your door. Look, you can go to your local farmer. You can go to anyone near you. They're going to sell you meat more expensive than that, and you're picking it up, and it's not corn and soy free. So... Enough, enough tooting my own horn. Look, when I'm in the Philippines or something, just surrounded by girls and boys, who knows at that point, I might really lose my mind. You guys will know, I was telling the truth when I'm <laughs> giving this meat away for free. <laughs> All right. Let's read some reviews. I forgot to read them last week. And I wanted to, I wanted to read them at the beginning. Is that heater too loud for you guys? Maybe I should walk over here. I wanted to read the reviews at the beginning of the video today because we forgot to read them last week, but I think there was like 20 or 30 of them, which might take a little while, so I don't want to be blabbing uh, that much at the beginning of the video. All right, let me, uh, let me kneel down so I can rest a little bit. How cross-eyed am I today, guys? Is it that bad? Yeah, I mean, I was in my car all week this week, and I one last drive down tomorrow should be fine. As long as I don't have to drive for like four hours, two days in a row, I'm good. Like today I didn't have to drive, I just have a kind of a day off, I'm, I'm, I should be good. There's like three or four new products we're coming out with that have really new funny logos. Two for the natural side, dude, what, one of the logos I made, it had me laughing for two days straight, but I, I, can't, 
I can't use it. It let me just it involves a big nose and I would be 100% canceled if I use that product on my <laughs> So I got one that's not as funny but I I legitimately I Dude, I was literally in tears for two days after I had this guy design this logo for me. It was so ridiculously hilarious, but it was definitely not appropriate. <laughs> definitely not appropriate. So, um, but those are, there's a few other products on the naturals and um, and the supplements that we will have as well. All right, so we got a five star review for the beef testicles male virility makes you stronger in every way. There's a reason why gladiators ate them before a fight. Secret weapon of warriors. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm the guy that originally popularized the testicles for testosterone on social media. Cause some some guy some Arabic guy like six or seven years ago I think his name was Salim, shout out to Salim, mentioned it on my channel. So Salim is the OG and I'm the guy who made it popular on social media. He used to call, he used to call me gay for not having a beard in my comments. He said he'd some testicles. <laughs> um, then we got an, an email. Who came up with this idea? Whoever you are deserves a raise, super genius, whoever came up with this method of delivering the eggs. I'm happy to report that all 144 eggs were intact when receiving my delivery today. Thank you so much, guys, really. And he sent a picture of how the eggs arrived. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, the eggs are now packaged in, in uh, styrofoam that is shaped to each individual egg, courtesy to our Chinese brethren. Thank you very much. So very special packaging. Um, if you guys need, like, the cartons to hold the eggs i can get you guys some or sell you them i don't know but i like those better it's, if you're a little tight on space yeah those are a little harder to fit in your fridge but from from a shipping perspective they're way better they they don't break then we got a five star view for the water kefir it's yummy smiley face my first time drinking water kefir so i wasn't sure what to expect it was super tasty and enjoyable i'm happy the bottles were packaged well and didn't break during shipping overall very pleased with the product and quality i'm hoping to see benefits with my digestion and health soon uh, we got another email 100% uh, damage free. Hey, I just heard the FedEx guy drop the box on the porch. When I opened it, it was 100% perfectly packed and no breakages. The improved packaging design is great. Yeah, this is, he sent us another picture of uh, our new, our new egg shipping boxes with uh, with the with the foam. Five star review for the chicken eggs. Awesome eggs, amazing eggs, the way God intended. Uh, five star review for water kefir. Another one. Amazing product for your gut and candida. This is my second time ordering the water kefir due to bad candida overgrowth again. The first time I ordered the plain and ginger, I didn't really care for those flavors, so I ordered grape, pineapple, and orange. By far my favorite flavors, super fermented and just tastes amazing. I can only drink like a quarter cup at a meal, but it's helping with the candida. Slow and steady wins the race. Can't stop the water kefir or, or the candida comes back. Packaging was great as usual, no issues. The new boxes are heavy duty. I couldn't even break it up. That's how good the boxes are, LOL. The postal service held my package for a few days, but it's all good. I appreciate everything you do for us, Frankie. We'll be ordering more soon. Uh, yeah, I would definitely try some water kefir grains as well. And yeah, I mean, I mean, the reason I work so hard and always try to to come out with these products is because I do genuinely appreciate uh, you guys supporting me, even though it means I basically have no life outside of my business. Uh, five star review for the water kefir grains. Oh, this might be the same person. Uh, this might actually be the same person reviewing the grains too. I've ordered these several times in the past for Candida. Being on sale, I seize the opportunity to buy a few. So thank you for that, Frankie. It's truly appreciated. Anyone with gut issues, you need the stuff. It works 100%. You just need to be consistent and use masticum, digestive enzymes, and charcoal if needed. I've even started giving my mom's dogs this stuff with their meals to help with the digestive issues they have. Great product. Yeah, I don't know about kefir grains for dogs, but it'll definitely help you. Five-star review for the pasture-raised Iberico pork sausage. Best sausage ever. I love that I can buy sausage without any additives, chemicals, and God knows what else is put into the regular store-bought sausage. This Iberico pork sausage is so good, really tasty, ready to eat in about 10 minutes, and it's pure, good quality meat and seasoning. I have been buying meat from Frankie for years now and never had better ribeye than his. I could live on that only. Everything he sells isn't really... Everything he sells is really good and affordable. Love it. Five-star review for the hanger steak. Good quality. Tastes awesome with fresh lemon juice, onion, and soy sauce cooked in a pressure cooker for a quick meal. Yeah, that sounds uh, like teriyaki style. Sounds good. Five-star review for the pasture-raised chicken eggs. Best damn eggs. Very good. All 12 dozen arrived intact, which is very impressive. I gave away seven dozen to my friends and family, and they all wanted your site info. My sister, Denise, is from Lancaster, California, is the one who recommended you. I had chickens recently, but unfortunately, the neighbor's dogs killed them, so I have not had real fresh eggs in a while. I will reorder 
for sure and some of your other products very soon thanks again <laughs> maybe i need to i need to start breeding dogs i need to find some of those amish what are the, what are the amish known for those puppy mills i gotta find some amish puppy mill people and we gotta release all the extra dogs out into people's backyards so i can sell more eggs <laughs> Uh, five star view for the pasture raised chicken eggs. Twelve dozen eggs, not a single cracked. Beautiful, rich orange color and flavor. Ten out of ten. We'll be ordering a lot more eggs. Yeah, my nose has been dripping uh, from being in the freezer, but now it's, it was actually so cold out here the past two days. It's, it felt like I was in the freezer even when I was outside. Five star review for the organic raw cookie dough. Can't stop eating it raw. This cookie dough is fucking unreal, man. I don't even bake cookies with it. I just chunk it off raw. LMAO. Uh, we should have more in stock. We're making some today, actually. Or we're going to make some tomorrow morning. We'll have more cookie dough back in stock. Five star review for the product. Buy one, get one free. Pasture raised turkey, corn and soy free. Amazing turkey. The taste on this turkey is amazing. I prepared it with a dry brine and put it in the oven. It came out amazing. Thank you pr for pretty much giving away turkey. I wish this deal was around all the time. Yeah. <sighs> Honestly, I should have probably... I, we gave away most of them already. There's maybe like five orders of buy one get one free turkeys left. I should have just smoked them, had them smoked, and then sold uh, sold smoked turkey meat. But we don't. Have, we, I mean, we don't have a smoker. Um, I mean, we could cook the turkeys in the oven and then shred them, but that's so much work. That's so much work. I mean, I don't know. We might save the rest of them and do that. We'll we'll brine them for a day or two, uh, cook them in the oven, and then sell just shredded turkey meat. I mean, we're already selling the breasts, but I don't think we have even time to do that. Five-star review for the product, Lemon Light Organic Electrolyte Drink Mix. This is on organsupplements.com, my electrolyte blend. Good around workouts. I like to drink this during or after my maximum volume hypertrophy workout. <laughs> I should send this guy some free stuff for plugging my workout routine. I like to drink this during or after my maximum volume hypertrophy workouts, as I can often get dehydrated while working out. I also like to pour some in water kefir if it is a particularly strong batch. Ooh, lemon light drink mix and water kefir, that sounds good. Yeah, I mean, not to be too arrogant, but that electrolyte mix I came up with is the best formula on the market, especially even if I'm broke because I don't sell any. As with our Flextrose product, five-star review for the Flextrose Organic Glucose Powder, the only organic dextrose product on the market. I use this as a sweetener in my recipes. The lack of fructose should make things even easier on digestion and absorption of the carbs. Yeah. So if you guys don't know, Flextrose is on organsupplements.com. It's organic glucose, which is uh, dextrose, which is sugar without the fructose, which is much healthier for the body and the liver. Five-star review for the male virility. So we, I, I don't think I touched on the review for this earlier, but this is the, the beef testicle powder that we have on organ supplements. Uh, and I, I take it every morning myself to get me through the day. Fantastic product, can feel the difference, excellent service. On my second order of these, I received the full spectrum powder instead of the Malvarility, a totally understandable mistake. After messaging Frank about the error proof, he sent the correct order to me right away. Superb service, many thanks, much appreciated. I feel a difference after taking a dose with the boost in energy levels in the morning, plus improved libido and quality of one's own man juices. Thanks, <laughs> Bro, you had a completely normal review until that last sentence. <laughs> How do you? How did you test the quality of your man juices? Are you noticing more coming out, or like, are you like, what's going on, dude? Do you have taste testers over there? What's the deal? We got another five star review for the organic raw cookie dough. One of the best products. This is so good raw. It tastes even better when you bake it. Oftentimes, I'll just eat it raw though. This is easily one of the best tasting products Frank has ever produced. Yeah, it's a special product. We made it to try to use up some butter, but. Looks like it's going to stay. That's all the reviews, guys. It's about 440 on Sunday. I got to get home ASAP and, and just update the websites and stuff with some some inventory and stuff. So you got that's the most important thing I do every day. It takes it doesn't take too long. It's just like after I see what's going on, after I see everything we did, I have to update all the websites accordingly. Uh, eat my five <laughs> eat my five o'clock lunch. I think, oh, I've been having this um this, I don't know if I told you guys yet, this uh, detox smoothie, which is also kind of pretty high calorie smoothie that I came up with. I'm excited, I'm really excited to do that on organ supplements soon. It's gonna be Frankie's detox smoothie. The only problem with it is, it's, it's, it's like a, it's like a quarter, it's like, it's a lot of powder per serving. So I'd have to sell like a five pound container of it. 
And also, it's very the base price is very expensive, but I think I could get it to you guys affordably. All I have to say is, if someone else was selling it, it'd be twice the price. But that that might that's probably a few weeks away too. That's a few weeks away too, but I think uh, end end of uh, what is it? We're getting getting close to the end of January now, so I think I think by the middle of February, end of February, we'll have uh, quite a, quite a few new products. One thing I can say is the 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 beef adrenal should be coming in soon. The adrenal powder on organ supplements that should be here in a week or two. We'll have a new moisturizing cream on the Naturals website. We're bringing the deodorant back. Uh, all that should be very very soon. Um, and then the other, the other new products might be a few more weeks. And all the new the new supplements too. We're getting some new supplements in. Um, also, a lot of not a new stuff, guys. A lot of new stuff. Hopefully the world doesn't end so I can keep coming out with new products, right? Because that's the only thing I look forward to. But thank you guys so much for joining me. frank You guys can see all of my interesting and creative businesses. But, uh, you know, I still, got, I still got a bunch of work to do down here. And, like, I got to load up my car with some stuff and go home and eat. And hopefully I get to relax before I got to, then I got to wake up early and drive back now. So I'll see you guys soon.